YouTube channel by the name of Hachi Studios has recently disappeared. While no one knows his whereabouts at this current time, that's a good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Do some more research to make sure that we got the right guy. It is highly suspected he was kidnapped. Hello? Who's there? Patchy. What's the first thing you remember? It was the beginning of 2018. I woke up on my bed not knowing where it was, and there was a laptop in front of me with a video playing. There's gonna be many people trying to take your timeline, all right? There's gonna be people who try to act like they're your friend. more info to this story as time progresses only on Dimension 76 News. Fun, Patchy. I've been waiting since 2017 to finally come back. Ah, eh, ah, eh. Who are you? I'm, um, I'm Johnny. Um, what's your last name? Woke. 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 So your name's Johnny Woke. Yeah, Johnny Woke, man. Wait, who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm your, I'm your cameraman. Cameraman for what? For your vi videos. W where am I? Uh, listen, we gotta, we have like five minutes till we have to film, so can we just like hurry this up? Do I have to? Listen, uh, after, after we're done filming, man, like, we, we can talk about it if you want. Like, uh, I can clearly tell you're a bit confused. You know, fine. All right, let's get the family. Can I have the topic or whatever? Thank you. Dan TDM. He's a person. Yeah, I've talked about Dan TDM before. Uh, and I've never really died. Die, 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 So, the book is about Dan TDM and Treoris, alright? First is that Squidward-looking fella from Creates a Big Scene. Uh, it's about a magical crystal coming down, and then uh, hijinks ensues, and they have to find the rest of the pieces of the crystal, while other Squidward, who I didn't talk about in Dan TDM Creates a Big Scene, and his little elf go after the crystal. Got it? Uh, I have several problems with this, uh, you know, I am now a book critic, by the way, I don't know if you could tell that. Some of the characters' noses, now I'm not one to criticize art, this is a picture of my art. Now, as you can, as you can see, uh, his nose, it's like a dog nose. Now, I don't really have a nose, so I can't really discuss on this topic, but the thing is, I'm 90% sure noses aren't a straight line, but that's just the art style. Well, guess what? I don't care, I'm right, you're wrong, all right? If I don't like it, no one likes it. That's, that's how it works, all right? Um, back to, back to the book. Uh, the art style, I'd say that's the, that's the biggest problem. I, I find why the art style is the biggest problem is uh, some of the character designs. If we just look at the front cover, some of the pigs have mouths, some of them don't. Grim, who's the dog, he wasn't in Creates a Big Scene. Instead, we got these abominations. Dogs have like snouts. This doesn't. This is just like a flat. It's like a, it's like a flat face. Also, I'm pretty sure this dog's anorexic. Not gonna lie. I forgive, you know, the artist for making this. The art sucks, and I, I feel like I clearly could have done a better job because I am clearly more qualified. Because. I'm sorry. I can't review this. What do you mean? Like, like, I'm more of like a video person. I can't review a a book. Come on, just like, 
Make make fun of it. That's not all my show is. It's not just making fun of things. You know, I can't give really in-depth and descriptive material for a, a book. Come on, man. You reviewed a show. This is gonna be a yearly tradition. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, dude, this isn't gonna be a yearly tradition. I can't do it. You're really gonna do this to me. Yeah, I I'm gonna do this to you because I don't... Like, first off, I don't know who you are. Second, I don't know what th what happened here. But this isn't how I'm supposed to look. Listen, if you don't do the show correctly, it's not going to end well. I mean, it's not gonna end, 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 end. So, uh, the, the backgrounds in this book, they're, they're a very, uh, bad. You can't tell what's the foreground and what's the background. What were they thinking? Am I, jeez, okay. Okay, what's happening? What? I keep going one way, and then something happens, and I go a different way. Like, wh what's happening? What do you mean? You're not seeing this. No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Honestly, uh, the, the book, I would give, uh, a, a ten, 10 out of 10. Uh, it's definitely better than the show. And, you know, <laughs> this book is tragic, honestly. It's terrible, and I hate it so badly. Um, and I wish all copies would burn in a fire. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello? Hello? Well, that's the end of the show today. Um, it, it's it's been a very eventful one, you know. Our typical hijinks uh, of reviewing a terrible piece of media. So yeah, uh, that's really it for me. And um, I I guess I will see you guys uh, later. Um, Probably in the next episode, whenever that will be. It's like, whenever I'm contractually obligated to do the episode, I guess, then we'll see. You got a lot of explaining to do, so this, this, better, this better be a good talk. <laughs>
I made a video on Dan TDM. You had the line or you had brain damage? I don't know. It's a whole. We'll, we'll solve it later. Uh, Alright. So, yeah. Let's. I don't know. These videos don't really look in interesting. So we're going to start out with exploring the hidden secret underground tunnel and house. We found a mystery. Note with clues. You see these videos? Uh, they're not going to be the best quality. And it's perfect because I get to rip them to shreds. Hey ZamFam, it's Rebecca. First off, ZamFam. Now ZamFam is her fan base. And ZamFam is her fan base. So that means... They're called Zam Fam because Rebecca Zam Olo Zam Fam. Get it? It rhymes. Dude, Rebecca, she's so clever. She should become a SoundCloud rapper. Low key. Hey, Zam Fam, it's Rebecca. And we got a ton of comments saying that you guys wanted us to explore under here today. <laughs> oh, hold up. Explore under here today. One person is a different person. All these are the same people, except for one person. Found this actually in one of the mystery boxes that we smashed open. What? Like a little piece of paper at the bottom. Something like right down here. Ooh, welcome to the cabin in the wood. Thank God the editor of the Rebecca Zamolo channel decided to put these flashbacks, because I wouldn't understand the plot, right? I'm, I'm a Rebecca Zamolo noob. Play a game? I don't know if there's gonna be anything under here that has to do with that. I don't know if that was like a joke or a setup or if it was in the mystery box it has nothing to do with this, but I'm really nervous right now. Man, it sure would be a issue if they didn't have all these jump cuts. It's what? like a piece of paper. <gasps> Matt, it looks like the note that you got on the last. It's like the same paper. Okay, now I didn't know that there was that much of a noticeable difference in paper quality, um, but I don't understand how you somehow managed to make something worse than the Patchy Show. That's astounding. It's a Coke one. Hold on. Hold on. There was a Coke sign, and now I'm finding this Coke thing. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait who's, who's filming this? this? Greetings. I am the Game Master. The one and only. If you're watching this, the Patchy Studios channel is currently being hacked by me. And if you don't want that to happen for some unknown reason, all Patchy has to do is play a simple game. A Fortnite Monopoly with me, of course. But, here's the thing, there's something you can also do to help. All you have to do is follow him on Instagram at Patchy underscore official, and also follow him on Twitter at Patchy underscore official for updates on new videos. That's all you have to really do. And to, oh. Dad, will you get out of the bathroom? No, 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 dad. How about found RZ twins during hide, hide and seek chase challenge with who? All right, bro. We think that your clone is here, but we can't let <gasps> you go and search around because it might scare her away. Yeah, and you guys both aren't safe, and we don't know why they want you guys, but they do. Who's they? Who they? Who's they? That's the that's the new meme for the Patch Channel. Who are they? I, I left them set up in the kitchen. We could you know there. what, Rebecca? She always has slime in the garage. Yeah, Great slime idea. materials. Okay. Just, wait, slime? Did somebody say slime? Dude, slime? Slime? You know what that means? That means we're gonna look at a music video. Something I've never done before. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Rebecca Zamolo slime workout song. Oh god. It's crazy, and I, then I just caught this. <laughs> I ate way too much for the holidays. So. Right? Remember that stereotype of like women not being funny? And I see you guys are still playing with slime. Well, we're not just playing with slime. We're, we're getting, getting fit, fit with, with slime. slime. What does that even mean? We'll, we'll show you. you. Everything's tight. Can't fit my jeans. Well, it's been all night. Too many desserts. Yeah, no, that's true. It's a I don't want it. I grab my slime and my headband, and I'm ready to go. Go, 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 go,
Looks like you lost. Yeah. And uh, that's a wrap. All right, thanks, uh, Johnny. All right, I'll see you uh, later, I guess. You know, if you ever need me for filming again, just uh, tell me. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to tell you. Uh, I wanted to make the show look more uh, realistic. So what I did was I, I basically, um, you know, improvised and did all that. Oh, what? Oh, it looks like the uh, looks like the gas is kicking in again. Mm -hmm. Patrick. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't want to do this, but the higher-ups are making me. We'll resolve this, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. I don't know what you think, hey. but I don't think you're a uh, little plane here with your little gas and all. I don't think it's going to work. The higher-ups are making me... <laughs> You know what, Johnny? I must say, you are a very crafty one for someone who only has one eye. I am. But there's one, one little small detail you forgot. It's the fact that this is my show. It's the Patchy Show, not the James Wan Show. I actually, it's um, it's, it's, John, it's Johnny Woke. Shut up! I want a show with no interruptions and just me talking about things that's all i ask it's all i ask but no what do i get i get you coming on my show and interrupting me all right do you know who i am i'm friends with two respectful meme artists i will falsely sue you all right i i don't make me i i will yeah i, uh, I don't understand me <coughs> listen Dust yourself off and get to filming. We got an episode of film, all right? My show, my time schedule. Do it. You know what? I think my show can finally be the way I want. Just because no interruptions. Just me and my- Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the special guest for today's episode of The Patchy Show, sponsored by Dimension 76 News. It's the one, the only, Lil Doink! Oh, what the fu- So long, so long, so long I keep thinking that my friend's gone Friend's gone, for good I need a shoulder I can lean on Who are you? What's wrong with your voice? Uh, listen, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go and uh, I was about to film a episode of my show. I know exactly what you're saying, Oh, you, you do. Frankie, French, man. You are so lucky I don't have any sharp object near me.
Why? I'm a little bit I'm a little bit I'm a little bit I'm a little bit Fine. Uh, the power of the cloud goggles will hopefully help. So let's continue. Cause I am the baddest of them all. If you ain't about money, then I don't mess with y'all. Y'all think I don't get girls? Cause I ain't very tall. If she see my stacks, I bet you that she calls Oh, it's ironic. I had to fight my whole life. I could beat you up even if you had 1,000 knives. Even if you had infinity knives, I would punch you up into the air like a kite. Whoa! Hold up! You better watch out for this guy. See that man right there? Right there? Better watch out. I bet you sleep with the night light because you're scared of the dark. Cause you stink like a fart Well I light your fart on fire with my rounds You think I won't? Shit, I do I it all the time gosh. Okay, I have yet to mention this, but who, who's this man? Um, with the gun I wanna meet him Bet you I can dance better than you I bet you you don't know Two plus two It's BABY TWO BABY TWO Hey BABY put that, TWO Put the clip on the screen BABY TWO this Baby not for this two. Episode, for a future episode. Baby two. I put it Baby off. Two. Hey, stop. Baby two. You ever wonder? Boring. Let's just skip ahead. Song in the intro. I miss my guy, seen him in a long time. I want a high five, hear him spit a new rhyme. Last I heard, he ain't doing too fine. Cause that fun trip got him going out his mind. These look like the type of kids that you have to be friends with, or else you'll be one of the victims of the for soul sand and three wither skulls. Thing is, Mike really ain't a bad guy. He was doing bad things just to get a quick high. He got a taste of the money and the power. I ain't no high like that soft blue powder. Jesus Christ. I said the good life, Steve, this isn't it. That stuff ain't good for you, Steve, you gotta quit. He said get on my face before I hit you in the lip. But that wasn't my token, no way. That was the trip. I watched him drive away with James. In the whip with them clips and them big gold chains. I knew with James he would probably make a million. But that fun trip, it was gonna kill him. This actually does a decent job at making you feel sympathetic for Froggy Fresh. Days went past, weeks went past. I knew he wouldn't last, things were moving too fast. I called and called, but I never got through. It's like I wanna do something, but I don't know what to do. Hashtag relatable, am I right? Starbucks 14 year old girls that are Caucasian. I can't believe there's nothing I could do to bring them back. I can't believe it, Mike, I gave you everything I had. We made a promise to each other, one brother to another. We'd never leave each other, so we put that on our mothers. So long. I'm gonna get a copyright claim. Skip! Wait, Froggy Fresh? Moneymaker Mike? There's a chance. That my best friend died He was laying on the couch as he closed both of his eyes Jesus, dude, you can't show a dead corpse on YouTube Remember the last time someone tried to do that? And I just sat and stared ahead, trying not to cry And all that I could say was I tried, my mind tried And when I walked on over to him to pay my last respect He opened up his eyes like he had risen from the dead Witchcraft the Now, 
Mike. It's only been like two minutes. I'm not a coward. I never been afraid. In fact, I can't even wait until I see my last day. But as long as I'm alive, if my friend ain't by my side, there ain't no doubt inside my twisted mind that I would rather die. You can't, you can't show that. That's... Whoa! I grabbed my bike and rode it straight across town. Heard everybody whispering, it's about to go down. I pulled up to the house, but there was men blocking the door. I reached behind my back and said, Lucky, I brought my sword. Of course, James has ninjas. That was a racial joke. I made my way into the house. Mike was laying on the couch. I could still see the blue powder all around his mouth. James ran into the room, bullets firing from his clip. But I didn't get hit because I deflected him quick. James threw the gun and I cut the gun in half. Some Matrix stuff right there. GG. I threw him in the wagon, brought him back to the crib. I locked him in a room and said, Mike, you're going to live. Withdrawal's the most painful thing I had ever seen. But in less than two weeks, I had my homeboy clean. Does that mean? Baby two. There they were, sitting on my bed in a big yellow box. The shoes I've been waiting my whole life for. I pulled straight A's this report card, so Dad picked them up for me. Let's see, what, what, what classes was he in? Special Ed Math, alright. Special Ed English, Special Ed History, and Special Ed Science. Once upon a time, there was an evil, red-headed, Irish thug named Doug. He used to rob everyone. He was being chased by a crazy kid named Curtis. Apparently, Doug stole Curtis's yo-yo, and Curtis wanted it back. Only Froggy Fresh can make a story where it starts out with someone trying to get their yo-yo back. Doug knew he didn't have much longer. As Curtis reloaded his gun, he was screaming out at Doug, Just tell me where the yo-yo is! As Doug sat there bleeding, he looked over and saw a box of good guy shoes. With his last energy, he crawled over to the shoes. Then, as he sat there holding the shoes, he died. <laughs> Shoes done took over control of me. I try to fight it off, but these shoes got a hold of me. I stood up, grabbed my nerf pistol off the shelf, then headed out the front door to wreck somebody's health. It's the fact that Mr. Froggy Fresh, he works so well as a low redheaded Irish thug. <laughs> I don't I don't know why. Also, we just gotta ignore the fact that's a nerf gun. I walked over to James, he was chilling with his dame. I roughed him up a little bit, injected him for his chain. Pulled out my nerf gun so he didn't do a thing. Then I winked at him and told him, You ain't never out of range. When the drama starts, nerf gun goes bang, 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 bang. Nerf gonna leave you slime. When I go inside, nerf bullets start to rhyme. So, what you want, mine? Your life or your chain? I walked off with a chain in my hand. Left James looking scared with poop stains in his pants. Yeah, you show him, fro Froggy Fresh. You show him. You know, he ch he nearly got Mike killed. Horse stores and horseshoes, clovers and blue moons. You'll become a bad guy when you wear the good guy shoes. You put them on your feet. Zombie so, so board games. What is happening? And then you won't know what to do when you wear them good guy shoes. I tried to take the shoes off, but they wouldn't budge For a second I would be myself, but then I would be Doug Staring people down, wearing a mean mug Walking through the streets like a red-headed dog You can clearly tell I, I don't know why, I just have a strong feeling This music video they had the most fun with Because I don't know, it's just uh, a lot more energetic than the previous one. I walked away screaming, bro, that wasn't me, that was Doug. Please help me get these shoes off of my feet. But Big Blue was scared senseless, I left that fool defenseless. I was living on the fringes, coming off the hinges. Now I have beef with Big Blue and James too. Yeah, this is what made you have beef with James. Not, uh... Trying to kill him with a sword or anything. Then I came across that old fool, John Jimmy. I approached him and I told him, Son, you best not get lippy. Anything you got, well, son, you best give me. And let's make it quick, I ain't trying to get friendly. Then he pulled a switchblade and began to stick me. Then he pulled it back out and he put it back in me. No, no, don't talk about how he put it back in you. I was losing lots of blood, I was getting dizzy. He must have stabbed me 40 times, maybe even 50. I looked down and the knife was sticking out my chest. Stop the production right now, it's too graphic. But it wasn't over yet, now you gotta hear the rest. He took a step back, put up both his dudes. Whoa, dude. Uh, I'll, I'll give him a 10 on form. <laughs> Let's look at the last ever released Froggy Fresh music video. Stolen Bike 3. 
There were two other ones, but I don't think they're important, and also I'm lazy. Hello, this is KWH. You're calling number one. How did they make it? When you call in here, have your story ready. We don't have time for people to call in going, eh, eh, eh. Okay, next caller. Hello, this is KWA. You trying to waterboard him? And I steal him, right? Okay, so they steal a kid. Yeah, and then I take him, and I put him in a blue barrel. And I don't... And they don't put both tears on him. He looks too excited to see this child, I'm assuming, die. A bottle of tears, like... Like crying tears? Yeah, like crying tears. Okay, this is creepy. So they pour the tears all over them, right? And they put a lid on the barrel. And then they flip the switch on the remote. And then they melt the kid. Now we are getting somewhere. I like this guy. Yeah, so they melt the child down to a blue liquid. And then they pour him into a cup. And they cook him. I cook him until all the water is gone. And all that's left is blue powder. Sweet blue power. So you're telling me the thing that Mike nearly OD to is made out of deceased children. I'll buy three shipments of it, please. Fine trip, got these streets feeling so hard. I've been through big wheels, skateboards, and go-cars just to get my hands on these bikes. See what's a man without his bike? That's a man without his life. You know what? All jokes aside, uh Froggy Fish Shop is uh it's pretty good. You know, I I've talked about a lot of bad things on the channel before, and, you know, I like this channel. It's it's nice to just talk about something, you know, not terrible, just some ironic fun. Alright, I'm sorry, I went on a tangent, but let's continue. Can these kids don't deserve this? So I think it's time for me and Mike to do some public service. Time to show James crime don't pay. Time to show James me and Mike don't play. We've been waiting for this day all summer. No more James calling us dumb and dumber. When I see that fool, I'm a- Channel's over. I hate the channel. Look at him. Look at his face. Look at him. Look at him. Looks like he touched three children before the filming of the video. When I see that fool, I'ma hit him with a stunner. Strike like lightning, rumble like thunder. They can't handle me, son. I'm the dragon. I revved up the engine. Mike jumped in the wagon. Mike, I missed you. Then out of nowhere, up walked Benny Velvet, got his hair permed out, had it looking like a helmet. He walked toward me with a clenched fist, in a big old stick that I was about to get hit with. If he touches this prodigy, I'm calling the cops and suing. Was it fate or was it just dumb luck? Cause I looked over and I saw a pair of nunchucks, but I didn't know exactly how to use them. I started swinging them around and accidentally threw them. Yeah! I hate this per- Mmm! So great to see him get this. Then they nailed Benny Velvet in the head. He fell over on the ground. I was scared that he was dead. I hope he is. I sat back and I waited like a cat. When I seen him relax and I went in for the attack. Hit him with that dragon kick and laid him on his back. He was out cold so I knew it was a rat. I jogged over to him, grabbed the keys out of his pants. Took a second to do the fish out of water dance. I, I do it and it's like... I have severe, I have severe autism. I see your man blowing up your phone, telling you that you need to come home. If that clown he ain't about a thing, look I don't see no engagement ring. You said that he did you dirty, so what's the harm in flirting, baby? Cause your boyfriend's a bitch, he ain't shit, he can suck on my dick. Whoa! I wasn't prepared. You know, you know what? Um, take, take your, take your glasses off. I don't need the critical music glass. This isn't Froggy Fresh. This is something more edgy. I ain't weird for that shit. Why he do you like this? Why you home all alone? Why we out fucking around with him? Oh, cause your boyfriend's a bitch. He ain't shit. On my dick, I ain't with all that shit. Why he do you like this? 
uh, not gonna lie, this actually took me by surprise. Um, I, I thought, since it was made by Froggy Fush, it would just be normal. Um, uh, but it's, it's different, um, which I guess I'm fine with. I don't like change, though, except for when it's with Rebecca Zamolo. Hey, Sam, Sam, it's Rebecca. All your friends tell you you need to let go. Seem like he still got your ass in check, though. You ain't never cheated on your man. So why the fuck do we still got your hand? Girl, you could do so much better. He ain't even got no cheddar, baby. You got no cheese? This is not a mouse. Some like Winnie Wisconsin stuff. I fuck dogs, get over it. <laughs> he just trying to cuff you like the 5 0. I just wanna see you live your life though. I just wanna see you singing down. Don't wanna see you held down by your man. Really? <laughs> L listen, I'm listening to this. I really could truly care less about your song. No, I don't want to. Please, 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 please. Yo, it's your boy, Lil Doink! Back again with an epic Minecraft parody! You guys are ready for this one! Yeah! Follow me on SoundCloud! Lil Doink! And me! Locked in the mine! Mine the diamonds! Mine the diamonds! Locked in the mine! Mine the diamonds! Mine the diamonds! Locked in the mine! I walked down in the mine! And then I ran over to the diamond stacks and then I pulled my gravies out and I mined the diamonds! Mine the diamonds in the mine! Mind the diamonds in the mine! I walked over to the mine, mine them diamonds. Then I walked over to the diamonds and I mine them. Mind the diamonds, mind the diamonds. I walked over in the mine and mine the diamonds. Walked over to the mine, found a creeper. He exploded and I was like, ah! Walked in the mine. Mind the diamonds, mind the diamonds. Walked in the mine. Mind the diamonds. <laughs> I don't want to go inside the mine, mine the diamonds with my iron pick. Oh wait, it's actually a really win. Now the diamonds broke. Now I'm screaming. I put into it. I'm in a depression now. And mine in the mine. Locked in the mine and I run the diamonds. Yeah, locked in the mine and I run the diamonds. Locked in the mine and I and I and I run the diamonds. Every day I find the diamonds in the mine. Yeah. I found a zombie and then the zombie tried to rape me. It was pretty sad and I didn't like it. Please help me. I'm going to council lane. Yeah, yeah. I mined the, the diamonds. I walked over in the mine and mined the, the diamonds. Mined the diamonds in the mine. Yeah, that's right. I mined the diamonds in the mine and a creeper found me. Then a spider came out and he touched my boot. And then I went like, hey, that's a rape. And then he was like, okay. But it was okay, cause I mined the diamonds anyway! Mined the diamonds in the mine! I mined the diamonds in the mine! And then I walked over and I made a diamond pickaxe! Then I mined some iron, cause I hate myself! Mined the diamonds in the mine! I mined the diamonds in the mine! I the mine! I mined the diamonds! I mined the diamonds! I mined the diamonds! I mined the diamonds! I will mine all the diamonds, yeah, and it will be okay because it's not rape. I'm like the creeper who just touched me, and then I walked over to a silverfish, yeah. The silverfish walked over to me and said, hey, you're gay. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I mined the diamonds, and then I went into the end. Then when I went into the end, I found out that someone already killed the dragon. So I was stuck there. Yeah, 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 I'm about to mine the diamonds. Then I went to kill the wither, and then the wither came and one shot me. God! Then I went in and back in the mine, because apparently that's all I'm good at. And then I kept mining, and it was pretty great. And then I wanted to die, so I found a crate of fish. And then I gave it to a fisherman. And then I mined more diamonds. Please help me. 
the mine all the diamonds mind all the diamonds in the mind all the caves mind all the diamonds clean now there's no in the server and i want to die i right, please put an end to me yeah yeah i mind all the diamonds mind all the diamonds mind all the diamonds walk in the mine and i'm on the diamonds walk in the mine and i and i and i'm on the diamonds that's right Let's, let's I'm in a bad mood. Let's just continue. Doesn't make do you right. Leave that little bitch tonight, baby. Does your boyfriend's a bitch? He ain't shit. He can suck on my dick. I ain't with all that shit. Why he do you like this? Why you all on the wrong? Why they out fucking around with him? Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I, I can't watch any more of that. Um, I guess what I'm trying to get at is I. I just really miss my- Don't worry, everyone's favorite newsman is here. Who are you? My name is Clayton Wellworthy, Class A journalist and Class B sexual predator. I don't- Allegedly. Okay, I, I don't care. Get out of my house. Patchy, how does it feel that you have the world-renowned SoundCloud rapper Lil Doink in your house? I'm sorry, have you heard his music? Yes. No. Maybe. Oh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. I, I, Donald Trump did this. I mean, Donald Trump bad. He did this, this thing like three years ago. Bad. Bad man. Don't like it. Uh, I work for CNN. Donald Trump. That's it. Okay? All of you, go. I don't want any interruptions. Once again, my show, The Patchy Show. Not the Johnny Woke Show. Not the Lil Doink Show. Not the... Clayton, what's your name? It's, um, Clayton Walworthy. Clayton Walworthy show? It's the Patchy show. It's my show. All I want is to make a show that's just me, has no interruptions, and is a good show. But you people keep weighing me down. I don't know who half of you are. You know what? You know what? Everyone, I have an announcement. You can all come in whenever, alright? But it has to be when I say you can, okay? And... Next episode, we're not gonna have a single interruption, okay? Is that clear? Oh, uh, okay. I, I, under, I understand. I said, is that clear? Deals. Oh, yep. Deals. Hey. Yo, it's your boy Man in smoke. Oh, oh, hi, hi everyone. Uh, Patchy here. Um. Uh, uh, hold on, Pesco. Everyone's Patchy here, and welcome to another episode of The Patchy Show. Uh, I know it's been uh, about three months. Peter King Dog Training. He has a YouTube channel with over 144,000 subscribers and primarily focuses on dog training videos, uh, hence the name. But what if I told you that this man had something else? up his sleeve. Peter K. Dog Training uh, also likes to make more out there videos. Like talking about Bigfoot, Dogman, or the most scary of all, his pet raven named Sam. Check it out, it's Sam the Raven. You know, he's a douchebag. I agree with Peter. That raven does look like a douche. I think that we should take that raven and 
maybe just throw it under a semi truck. There are birds, so they have to take a bath. So you have to leave like a big, like tub of water. I have to leave like a big giant tub out for him, right? So when he gets in it, water gets spilled everywhere. It's a fucking mess. It's a fucking mess. He doesn't give a shit. He's a fucking raven. Peter, that's where you're making the sole mistake. You don't let your bird just go around in the bath. You waterboarded the bird. I found it's better just to leave the tub out wherever. Like I have one whole room that has nothing in it and at my house and Sam can go up there and take a bath. Little do people know, Peter Kane Dog Training is actually a multimillionaire. He is on the same level as Bill Gates. And technically, now the more I think about it, I think I've seen Peter Kane somewhere before. I started Facebook, I run it, and I'm responsible for what happens. Peter Kane. Peter Kane. Peter Kane. Peter Kane. And, and what happened, and what happened was as soon as I was knocked down on the ground, she starts ripping my clothes off me. She did. She pulled my pants off me, and I'm like, oh, great. What, what, she's going to kill me. They're going to find my naked body here. It's worse. It's worse. As soon as she got my pants off me, she started, like, jerking the ween. And I'm like, whoa, you know, that's not going to work. You know, what are you doing? And then the next thing I know, keep in mind, this is a big Sasquatch. Like, a comparable to, like, a big, hairy Russia, Russian woman. I do agree with Peter here. I also despise all Russians. I like to commonly refer to Russian women as Bigfoot. Mostly. Because they're both disgusting. And she starts giving me a knobber. It was, it was all just biological. I didn't have any choice. And the next thing you know... You know, I blew my load. I blew my load in the Sasquatch. So wait. Doesn't this mean technically Peter King committed bestiality? The next thing you know, I bust a nut again, again, and then she stands up and does one of these like, mmm, like, mmm, isn't that good? Little do people know, Peter Kane is actually a sex god. I personally don't know what a, mmm, that's good expression is like, but, Peter Kane does, because Peter Kane slays all them Bigfoot. Peter Kane. Peter Kane. Peter Kane. Peter Kane. Peter Kane. In the video that you're about to watch, you'll see a creature come into view in this hayloft window. You'll notice that there's nothing in the hayloft window. But as the video progresses, the first time we'll see the, the creature, the dog man, you'll see it down low. Peter Kane is such a brave soul. Look at him. He's standing in the dogman pit. And it's sort of true. It is sort of true. I've known some dogs that didn't have teeth that, you know, they, they functioned okay. They could, they could eat food and everything, but they, they really need their teeth. That's a very cute dog, but that's not the dog I'm here for. I'm here for that Russian woman dog, aka my ex-wife. Where's the divorce papers, Janet? You still haven't signed them. I'm waiting. The canine really is nothing like you, including its teeth. Here we get a full frontal view. You can see that the animal is massive. It's also a bit spastic too. It looks very aggressive. That dog has a red rocket. No comment. I just wanted to mention that. That's all. Moving on. Peter Kane. Peter Kane. Peter Kane. Peter Kane. It's a dream, and I, I hope that I can I can make it happen for all of. I'm president of the Bigfoot community. My name's Peter Kane, and I really hope that I can make this happen for everyone. Good job, Peter Kane, for making it to the presidency of Dogman and Bigfoot Club. I really do admire your dedication to the art form of the Bigfoot. It's a tribute to Bigfoot. It's a dream that I think everybody in the Bigfoot community wants to see. I want to update everybody on how the, the Bigfoot, the tribute to Bigfoot, the memorial is, is going. I have a go, we have a GoFundMe up, it's we, it's not just me. 
most of the Bigfoot community would wants to see this in the in the GoFundMe. We already have $112. That's nothing to joke about. That's $112. Man, Peter, I really do appreciate that you managed to get a 75-foot piece of paper to demonstrate how this would work. Thank you, Peter. Very much appreciated. Really cool. Keep it up. Proud of you. Peter K. Peter K. Peter K. Peter K. What the Peter K. Peter K. Peter K. Peter K. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, you sad sack of white privilege. Funny intro. Funny intro for the video. Found it. Warning, this product can expose you to chemicals including lead, which is known in the state of California to cause cancer. So I thought today to get into the uh, spooky mood, you know, it's October and all that, I thought we'd look at a more scary-oriented channel, uh, and I found one. For this episode, we created a fake Tinder profile using our decoy actress, claiming she was 14. Our decoy actress, who is actually 22 in real life, received a message after matching with a man dressed in a fox costume in his profile picture. <laughs> Play with me. Play with me. Play with no, me. I'm good. Play with me. I'm good. Come on. Play with me. I still have hey, good. how are you? Hey, no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Let's just talk, all right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. What's in there? Is this Chester? No, this isn't Chester. Wait, which one's which? Luxury. Is this Parker? All right. Whoa, calm down there, Parker. About what? Let's just talk. About what? Why are you here? I'm just here to see a friend, why? I, I can't really hear you, can you take off your mask? Uh, no, I'd rather not. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Look, I don't know, I'm just here. Alright, I'll, no, I'll help you, I'll help you. We'll just take off the mask, okay? Let's take off the mask. Alright. I mean, I would also want to have the mask on, I mean... Poor guy, he has to work a 9-to-5 job and his head's just a black circle. What are you doing here? I don't know. Why don't you start by explaining your reasoning behind meeting up with a girl at a hotel room that you believe is 14 years old? Look, she's, we're just friends. We just wanted to hang out in the first stuff. What, what is first stuff? It's a way of life. It's a way of life? It's just a lifestyle, really. Okay, well, you do understand why this is not okay. I mean, just because you don't like fur doesn't mean I can't be here. You think that's the problem? You think that... I have some sort of prejudice towards you because you're dressed up like a fox. This is just... What you do on your own time with other consenting adults is none of my business. You're an adult. It doesn't matter. Dude, honestly, I wish Chester did break this guy's ribs. I mean, come on. You can't claim this god of a man is prejudiced against anything. He's not. He... He wouldn't hurt a fly, but he... he I mean, he would hurt a furry, but that that's about it. But when you meet up with a girl who you know is 14 years old, then this is where it becomes a problem. How old are you? I'm 26. Human years. What do you mean in human years? Do you think you're actually a fox? Yes. Okay, well he's not a furry then. I think he's a... What was the... What was the one girl? Okay, so there... This is the one wolf girl. On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. <laughs> They're not furries, I know that. Other kin, it's other kin. You actually think you're a fox? Then let me explain this to you. Just because you're dressed up like this does not change the fact that you're a sick, 
26 year old man Listen, who came to meet a 14 year old girl. I don't know what you think you're doing here, but you're messing with the wrong fox, okay, buddy? You're just another non fur. I don't even know what that means. I'm gonna take that as racism. Dude's calling him a, a non fur. That's basically the same thing as saying the N word. We received a report from a 19 year old girl named Mariah. Now, Mariah is upset because one night her parents and all of their belongings just disappeared. And after this, a man appeared saying that he's her new roommate. See, the reason your parents left you with them is because you're just a terrible person. Okay, Mariah, thank you for uh, letting us sit down with you. Yeah, sure, no problem. So, can you tell me what it is about your roommate that's bothering you? He keeps trying to get me alone with him, inviting me into his room. I don't know why my parents left me with him. A lot of times he just says things that don't make any sense. So you've never actually been alone with this guy yet, right? Well, last night I locked my door and I'm glad I did because I heard him breathing outside my door and he was turning the doorknob trying to get in. And he keeps making food for me and if I don't eat it, he gets really angry. Why would he be doing something like that? I don't know. Well, I mean, that's understandable. I mean, you're just wasting food. This poor man. He went to classes, alright? He was studying Gordon Ramsay to make a perfect five-course meal. And you want to know what happened? She just throws it away. So, honestly, she deserves what's happening to her. So, can you tell me more about your parents just disappearing? she's okay. I mean, what was I expecting? I mean, he's a hunchback. Yo, something's falling out of his pants. Dude, are those worms? Yeah. I've also seen him collecting my toenail clippings and dental floss from the garbage. Dude, this dude takes his foot fetishes to the next level. Collects his victim's toenail clippings. Alright, we need to set up some cameras in this place. So I have this one here to watch the hallway. Should be fine. Okay, so our roommate just went out back. We're gonna put the camera in his room really quickly. Yo, what's that? I don't know. We're gonna put the camera right over here. Okay. Yo, what are these? He's got like, I don't know what these are. It's just like teeth, bro. Whatever, just ignore it, let's go. Okay. Yo, dude. Huh? Wake up. You hear that? I think Mariah's screaming, bro. Let's go. Yo, where's it? Where's that noise coming from? It's in there. It's in there. Mariah, Mariah. Yo, what the? Yo, what? Do you? What does that mean? Yo, what? What is this? A game? Before this video starts, let's try to smash. I'm sorry, Patsy. The higher ups are upset. You broke the script. I'm sorry, but we must get you back in the hands of your rightful owners. Thy who creates shall destroy. Thou 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 who creates shall destroy. Swamp sneak. I of internet-based challenges, there exists this odd subgenre known as challenge months. Me and my best friends, we love jerking off, but it's November, so we have to stop. Patchy!
I got a great idea for this month's episode. What do you want? I'm busy. Listen right here, you old ish. This episode took me months to come up in my mind. It's never been done before, and it's really revolutionary. It will bring audience members from across the globe in to see this episode of the Patchy Show. All right, fine. What's the idea? No, not November. <sighs> no masturbating, no fornicating, the jack. Uh, hi, my name's Clayton. The first time I heard uh, the name Patchy was when I was doing a segment for the D76 News Show. You might have heard of it, it's really popular in all the timelines. Honestly, Doc, the last time I heard an idea this crazy was in 1932 when Jesus came down from the heavens with an AR-15 and proceeded to shoot Ronald McDonald up because he stole his Burger King crown. When Clayton came up to me and said, Patchy, for this month's episode, you should do a, um, a video of you trying to survive No Nut November, I sat there and thought to myself, what is wrong with you? Honestly, I don't get why Clay wanted to do the idea. It seemed pretty outlandish to me in the first place. I mean, going an entire month without nutting, that's, that's pretty insane. When my agents called me up and they said, Hey, Clayton, do you want to film a scene in the Patchy show? I was like, wait, the Patchy show? The host of this show was the same guy who I just did a news segment about not that long ago. His segment was probably the most interesting news I've ever had. So I wanted to see what he was like in real life, and after the traumatic experience he uh, got. It turns out he's an or Do I think I'm gonna survive No Nut November? I've tackled worse, honestly. Uh, I've been through a lot, and I feel like just doing this, this should be the easiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Yeah, it's gotten pretty bad. Woke, what is this? And if it's not important, can I f it? Please say yes. Okay, Patchy, I'm gonna show you three pictures. And I want you to say the first thing that comes to your mind when you see these pictures. Flashlight. Hey, that's, that's wrong. Um, what about this one? Flashlight. Nope, that, that is Jesus. Okay. Uh, what about this one? George Bush. Yeah, seems about right. It's only been two weeks. I'm f Have you gone insane? Oh, have I gone insane? Did Jesus die on the cross? I'm sorry, is that a false accusation? <laughs> I've stole the camera from the cameraman. He can't get me now. Oh, cameraman. Oh. Oh. Honestly, this entire thing has gone on long enough. So I hired a guy on Craigslist. Uh, with everyone else's consent, of course, besides Patchy. And I decided that I would hire a guy to come in here and force Patchy to watch 10 straight hours of hentai. So when Lil Dwink was telling me about this entire hiring a guy off Craigslist story, um, I thought he was on another one of his acid trips, but he wasn't. You know, when they first told me that they did this, I was like, are you stupid? But then I thought about it and I was like, huh, maybe it is a good idea to see him fail this. I mean, he's gotten really bad. Mom, Jeff Epstein didn't kill himself. I read it on Twitter. I became a flat earther. A lot of evidence. Yo, what's up gamers? Today we're going to be sacrificing a scarecrow. What do you mean 9-11 was a hoax? Is this my uncle? Guys, look, I'm a millennial. When I saw this guy walk into my room trying to get me to watch hentai, I, I lost it, honestly. I'm going to find out who did this. I want to say it was pretty nice of the higher-ups to let us uh, clear out the lost zones so we can have a nice, well-deserved Thanksgiving dinner uh, with everyone here, including our special guest, uh, Weeb. Yeah, it was really nice of them to do that. Very. very I'd just like to say this. Um, I know we've had a rough year so far making this show, but it, it's really nice that we can all just relax together and enjoy the... Kokiwa. Alright, why don't you say we uh we we uh we started on this dinner? 
Where's the turkey? <laughs> Holy! Where'd he get the deer from? Yeah, I don't, I don't know where he got a deer. Honestly, I'm still confused on where the turkey went. No. The Pacific Ocean is separated from the Pacific Ocean. No. The well, guys, I did it. One more minute, I can finally bust. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for not only coming to this, but also supporting me throughout this entire endeavor. I'll say, yeah, no problem, man. No problem, man. No problem. Three, two, one. Oh, man, it sure has been a while. What's so funny? 国内線は日本国内の空港同士を結んでいます。You did what? Are you ready to open up Christmas presents? You already know I'm ready to open up them Christmas presents. I'm so excited to see her watch you open these Christmas presents, man. All right, let's see what it is. All right, who was the wise guy who got me a YouTuber beauty products coupon? Was it me? Was it me? It must have been Johnny. Oh, it was me. Honestly, Johnny, this gift was really thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. But unfortunately, everybody else got me this present. Oh man, that is a shame. Well, gotta add it to the pile, I guess. What are you talking about? There's nothing there. I'm sorry. What do you mean there's nothing there? There's nothing there, though. I'm sorry, Mr. Clayton Wellworthy. Are you a... Uh, Ready to wait night? What? No, what are you talking about? You know what, Clayton? I'm gonna prove to you that all these channels are kind of stinky if you catch my drift. Wait, what are you doing? Stop, please. You're embarrassing yourself. Random background extra. Hand me my mic. Yo, let's talk about the beauty community for a bit. Yo, imagine wearing makeup. Imagine just like not being able to like be comfortable and show yourself how you really are. Like it was so much simpler back in the BC times because you didn't have to put on 10 layers of makeup. You know, people who wear makeup, you know what they look like? Clowns. That's right, they look like clowns. If you wear makeup, you're basically a clown. And also, they're always all white. What's up with that? It's 2019, almost 2020. Where's the diversity in my beauty videos? Like, come on, James Charles. More like Nina Barbie doll, am I right? <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Yes, right on his death for me, death for me, God! And then there's like Jeffree Star, like more like Patrick Star from SpongeBob or SpongeBob the Musical. I mean, come on, if you're gonna like look like an alien, <laughs> if you're gonna look like an alien. 
at least be confident about it. Wait, hold on, guys. YouTube's new harassment policies are just coming to help me. And then there's like that whole like Teddy Westbrook. Imagine having the last name West and being born in the South. I'm sorry, are you stupid? I'm sorry, Clayton Wellworthy. Were you born in a well? No, okay. There, everything you just said there was like. 100% wrong. Are you being a tacky Westbrook white knight? What are you talking about? Let's talk about, uh, I don't know, Keem Cosmetics? Like, come on, Keem Cosmetics. Like, imagine basing a product after a clown. Like, imagine being a gnome and then just like going like, I'm gonna go over a lot of people's wallets. Like, come on, Daniel Keem, Keem Star. You're like really embarrassing yourself. It's, it's pathetic. What's wrong, Clayton? You're scared of being a white knight? On Christmas? What? Hey audience, let's laugh at Clayton for being a white guy. What's up, y'all? My name's Barry Bottom. What about my YouTuber beauty products? Hey, Clayton, look. My life is nothing but pain oh, and misery. Someone please put oh, the bullet in my skull. Stop! Uh, Clayton, what's wrong? Ever since I signed the contract to be on this stupid show, everything in my life has went downhill. You know, now that you mention it, I also had to sign a contract to be on this show. Actually, yeah, I had to sign a contract too. What did the guy? Never mind. Listen, I've had it. All right, it's I'm done. Make sure to get your phones out and record this momentous occasion, cause I. Uh, Clayton, are you okay? Uh, Clayton. Mm -hmm. The Patchy Show was filmed in front of a live studio audience filled with three-year-olds who play Fortnite and smoke the dankest of Kush. Yes? Hello? Is this Johnny? Yes, John. <laughs> Hi, uh, I work uh, with the higher-ups and they told me to inform you that you, Clayton, and Lil Doink will not be needed for the remaining few episodes of the show. Oh, um, <laughs> why? Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> uh, okay. See you then, I guess. Once they're out of the picture, I can finally do what I've been wanting to do this whole time. <laughs> yep, that's me. 
You're probably wondering how I got myself into this situation. Well, it all started when my crew literally what? left me. Wake up, wake up, wake up, I swear to God, if you don't wake up, I will Alaskan pipeline your clinical cockade. The King of Commentary's back, it's 2020. At Literally no one so asked late. cunt. And most importantly, ya boy survived cop... Puh. Uh, I know this looks bad, but hear us out. What's going on here? Listen, uh, the higher-ups called me and told me that... <laughs> for the remaining few episodes of the show. Wait, why do they only want me? Budget cuts, I guess. So now that we're going, I guess you'll get the perfect show you always wanted. Listen, I know I'm not exactly the nicest to you guys, but um, I do genuinely enjoy having you guys as co-hosts on the show. Well, it's nice to hear that, even if it's the last time we'll uh, be seeing you. So, Who's going to be my new co-host? I, I mean, you really don't need co-hosts. Well, it seems like you're doing pretty well on your own. <laughs> Damn, uh, no. I don't know if you guys saw those original episodes, but those episodes are not nearly as good as the ones that have you guys in it. They seem patchy. I don't know about these two, but... Even after everything we've been through, I'm, I'm still going to miss you. I miss you too. <sighs> Goodbye, Patrick. The hell is that? Waste it, 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 waste it. Hey, wait, I'm not gonna hurt you. Uh, who are you? Well, buddy, my name is Nostalgic Cash Grab Puppet. Uh, how, how did you get here? Well, for the box, silly. Who made this? Oh, no, just came with me. Um, okay, what do, what do you want from me? Well, uh, I do have something that I'd like you to review. Review, 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 review. Beside you is a laptop with a set of videos on them. I want you to watch just a few. How about this, Patchy? You film yourself watching this, this track as you put it? Listen, we gotta, we have like five minutes to wait after film, so can we just like hurry this up? Uh, well, today we're gonna be talking about the Geek channel called uh, Rebecca Zumalo. I don't know exactly what his name is, Frank, Frank, Frank. All right, fine, what's the idea? No, not November. Review, 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 no! I'm not doing any more of your stupid requests. But Patchy, you already said you were gonna review it. Wait, who do you want me to review? Well, Patchy, I want you to review Super Mario Logan. When did I ever say I was gonna review Super Mario Logan? Bet you I can dance better than you. I bet you you don't know two plus two. It's baby two. Baby two. Hey. Baby two. Hold on screen. <laughs> So, um, what was that about you saying that you never said that you were gonna make a review of Super Mario Logan? <laughs> Listen, just because I say that I'm gonna review something doesn't mean I actually have to 
you know, review it. Well, that's true, but do you really want people to stop trusting you? What are you talking about? Listen, here's the thing, Patchy. I know you really want to talk about this channel, but at the same time, you want people to think that you're way above talking about this channel so you can, mm, I don't know, see more like a god to your audience than you really are? Okay, bud, I don't know who you think you are, but- Face it, Patchy. You don't control your own reality. No one does. Super Mario! Logan. What do you think about when you hear that name? Some people might get fond flashbacks to when they were fetuses and enjoyed binging his content. Other people might think of terminal illnesses. But I can guarantee you that the majority of people would think of drama! tweet calling him deformed. But that's besides the point. Let's get down to business. So on February 25th, 2018, a video was uploaded to this channel called The Problem with Super Mario Logan. Keep in mind, the first video that was made by me was Praise Your Use Awful Feminist Ad. All of these videos were not made by me and have nothing to do with me, no matter what my past comments may have suggested. Poor Patchy. What about that one time you said... Oh, um, uh, yeah, just, uh, just continue. Continue on. Super Mario Logan, or Logan as I'll be referring to him as for the rest of this video, has had his fair share of controversies over his career. Like back in 2017, when a kid almost killed himself while trying to recreate something he saw Logan's Jeffy puppet do. Now let's talk about this drama for a second. Because in my opinion, Logan is in no way responsible for anything that occurred. Let me explain. In my opinion, if you're a parent and you use YouTube as a way to essentially replace a babysitter for your children uh, while you snort crack in the other room or uh, talk to your friend over the phone about how the earth's flat or whatever, then you, my friend, or ish parent. I decided to make a YouTube Kids account for a seven-year-old to see if this entire thing could have been avoided if she used YouTube Kids. After making the account, I looked up every variation of Super Mario Logan. I looked up Super Mario Logan with spaces, Super Mario Logan without spaces, SML, etc. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Nothing came up! And yes, YouTube Kids was around during this time. That, ladies and gentlemen, is clear justification for going to news outlets and claiming how Super Mario Logan and YouTube almost got my kid killed. When you could have easily just taken steps to avoid this whole ordeal. But besides that whole drama, Logan was in a controversy for firing one of his crew members. He was accused of stealing the Jeffy puppet and most recently was accused of cheating on his longtime girlfriend, Chili. Now for the most part, those dramas had no way to them or were just borderline misleading. But this cheating drama, on the other hand, whoa, let's discuss it. Now, if you're a normal person with friends in a life, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's go back to the fabled times of like three months ago when this behemoth of a man child had a hissy fit because Logan destroyed his plushes. But Patchy. What was Logan's motive for doing this heinous crime? Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? There was none! But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let me introduce you to the main characters of this two-star rated manga.
and also this guy. Just so you can make our fans uh, think horrible uh, about us or horrible about Logan. Nah, that shit ain't gonna work for me now. So Logan's been dating Chili for around eight years and they were even engaged for a little bit. But according to these leaks, Logan was cheating on Chili with a close friend of his, a prostitute, and apparently a few others throughout certain points of their relationship. Funny enough, this whole thing broke in 2019, you know? When every other channel got accused of the exact same thing. Guess it was that type of year. Apache, how did this get leaked in the first place? Well, maybe if you got that out of your I would tell you. Uh, okay, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait. Good. I'm just gonna speed this up for your convenience. During November, it was Logan's birthday. Everyone wanted to celebrate for obvious reasons, so they all decided to go to a strip club. Everyone was having a good time at the strip club. Chili got me help hammered and allowed Logan to go and get a few lap dances. I'd like you to keep in mind that Monica, who I called a thought in the intro, was about to get fired because she's a terrible actor. Monica sees that Logan is getting multiple lap dances from the same girl. Realizing that she's about to get fired, decides to make the most of the situation and decides to, and decides to do what any respectable adult would do and start making up a bunch of rumors like a toddler just had a sugar trip. Moving along a bit, Logan is filming a video in the SML house. Chili decides to dip out of the filming of the video for a little bit and decides to try to buy some weed from Lavelle. It, that, that guy. Fuck shit on my Lavelle is a bit hesitant at first, but decides to cave in and give her some of that sweet, sweet, dank kush. Chili gets stoned and decides like a retard to confess to Lavelle that she cheated on Logan. When time passes, Logan and Lavelle get into an argument because Chili should to claim that Lavelle spiked her weed. While they're arguing, Lavelle tells Logan that Chili cheated on him. Not wanting to believe that this could be such a thing, Logan decides to talk to Chili about it. She claims that Lavelle was just high and doesn't know what he's talking about. That's a good excuse, by the way. But that entire drama ends for a bit. We'll get back to that in a second. Let's talk about what happened afterwards, because... <laughs> Oh, I want to talk about it. On December 4th, 2019, Logan and Shrek get into an argument, which eventually turns into a physical altercation. Okay, keep in mind, Logan owns the house. Logan tells Thanos his nutsack that he wants him to leave the house. Bebop doesn't want to leave. So Logan decides to call the cops on the T-Rex's chode. A few weeks later, on December 13th, 2019, Chili allows Fiona and Drag to come back in so he can grab his stuff. Instead of grabbing his stuff like a sane person, he decides that he's gonna film a video basically turning this whole thing into like a middle school playground drama. On December 15th, finally he grabs his stuff and goes. But allegedly, according to Fabs himself, Logan destroyed all of his plushes. Moving along, once again, we end up during the New Year's time. Logan and Chili finally part ways. And oh, you thought it was over? You thought it was gonna end when they parted ways? Guess what? Chili starts blackmailing Logan. We got a thought alert. The drama kind of ended there for now. Then my boy Lavelle came in. During Lavelle's long Instagram live, he details how Chili was a bit of an horse literally having resentment to everyone. Now here's the thing. I don't care that Chili started acting like the bigger person and tried to stop the whole drama. I don't care that she stopped wearing her engagement ring in her Instagram photos or started deleting pictures of Logan off her Instagram. I don't care if Logan cheated on Chili or not. All I care about is hitting that 10 minute mark, boys. Don't try me, bro. Don't try me. Nick the original Super Mario Logan video that's on this channel has zero good points. I just think it's bad. It's just a bad bad channel. I mean, come on. The guy literally just calls Logan cancer for 10 minutes. I see the channel's cancer. Says some shit about his thumbnails. It was like the roleplay Palace Jr. series. I forget the exact name. I put like a few thumbnails, I guess, on screen. And literally makes the claim that Logan's videos are for children because he uses 
puppets. No joke. If they're not intended for kids, then... Then why do you use puppets? I mean, using that logic, South Park and Teletubbies are pretty much the same show. Now, when I went to Logan's channel, I was expected to be hit with a rush of edgy puppet entertainment. But instead, all I got was a desolate wasteland. Now, thankfully, one of his last videos linked to his new channel, Super Luigi Logan. Creative name, by the way. But guess what? When I went to that channel, I was hit with another wasteland. But thankfully, there was another link to another channel that he fortunately uploads on. Now, technically, it's not Logan's fault for having a hundred different channels. Seeing as how YouTube likes to demonetize his entire channel as soon as it hits a certain number of subscribers. But do you really need 10 extra channels that you don't upload on? Do we really need Super Yoshi Logan? For being completely honest here, his channel really hasn't changed in terms of quality. I mean, he's only been making the same videos for about a decade. Now listen, if you want to make videos with Mario plushes and all that, that's fine. But I have no idea how you manage to stay making the same type of content and not get bored. Recently, I had a little storyline where his Mario plushes drank a potion and turned into humans. That's probably a few reasons why this abomination exists, but I have a strong feeling that it had something to do with Kappa. We'll talk about these creatures later, but for now, let's watch some of Logan's beautiful content. Where have you been? Yeah, you've been gone for like a year. I got stuck at a stop sign, Mario. It wouldn't turn green. What? Oh, I get what you're trying to do. You haven't been here for a year, so you're trying to get freaky. I mean, I'm sick, but I can still take off my glue. Jeffy wrote it for you. What? Yeah, Daddy. I spelled it for you. And I also have your spoon right here in my gooch. Ew. Yeah, let me get it for you. No, no, no. <clears throat> Oh yeah, Daddy, get a whiff of that. So from what I'm seeing here, the entire reason why Jeffy exists is because Logan wanted to find a way to make fun of someone who has autism. Which is 100% uh, understandable. You know what, Mario? You're really mean when you're sick and I'm dead trying to take care of you! This girl's voice sounds like a cheese grater. <laughs> Logan has a sizable amount of merch, including shirts and bags. But I'm sorry, Logan. What the f*** is this? When I see these, it just makes me think the only reason why these redesigns exist is to sell merch. Oh my god. You're really out here selling a Jeffy puppet for $70. Are you mad? talk to you about a few things some really important things mainly the super mario logan movie my plan was to get the super mario logan movie uploaded on december 8th because it's my 10 year anniversary of starting my youtube channel the content is just gotten repetitive and i'm very interested to see this sml movie because it could be a good movie when is the movie gonna come out and the answer is i'm going to try to get it out sometime this month He never released the movie. <sighs> All I hear is excuses on where the movie, where is it? Where is it? I don't, I don't know where it came. Super Mario Logan is an anomaly of a channel. The controversies he's gotten into are pretty no. stupid. The content he makes, in my opinion, is pretty annoying, which could easily be said about my show, I know. But with all that being said, Logan is still far from the worst channel I've ever talked about. I mean, I would love to watch the new SML video before I watch a new Rebecca Zamolo video. Hey Sam, Sam, it's Rebecca. But yeah, Super Mario Logan's bad, three out of 10. Well, there you go, you old ish. I finally reviewed Super Mario Logan for you. You happy? Um, thanks, I guess. Um, if you don't mind me asking, who's controlling you? Ooh, what, me there, partner? <laughs> Look, I'm not stupid, you're a puppet. And? So, who has their hand shoved up your ass? I mean, if you really wanna know. Surprise! <laughs> I 
Okay, call me Doug Walker, because I'm about to start a storm right now. Okay, listen. In my opinion, the Five Nights in Anime series is worse than that one time my uncle from Chicken, Alaska freaking RKO'd me out the window during our family reunion. Now, with that being said, can you please untie me, you waste of inbred splooge? Now, why would I do that? Okay, me and you both know that no matter what happens, seeing as how the show's called The Patchy Show, I'll be fine no matter what excluding finales. Says who? Whatever regular Ralph looking ass decides to write these scripts. How would you not? Never mind. Okay, look, listen. I'm looking for an object that's hidden somewhere around this room. What's that? It's called the pad of timelines, and I know for a fact Johnny left it in this room before he left. Okay, and what makes you think that Woke would leave an extremely important item behind? Because, Patchy, Johnny is one of the stupidest people I know. And, uh, wait, also, don't you have a game to be reviewing right now? Okay, and why the fuck could I review a game knowing you're in the same room as me doing some absurdly evil shit? Because, Patchy, I have a gun. Okay, good point. All right, now play the intro. Wait, no, 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 Okay, so the Phineas series started back in 2015 with the sequel game released a year later in 2016. If you want to know what those games were, just watch this inferior video that's on the same channel. Or just watch this clip. Okay. Five Nights at uh, 40 Year Old Virgin's Wet Dream. 40 Year Old Virgin's Wet Dream. <laughs> The new Ultimate Location, which is the newest and last game in the series, was announced in mid-2018 under the name Phineas 3 Sister Location. The version we're reviewing today is version 1.2, which was the newest version that's been released at the time of me being held hostage. Did <sighs> find anything yet? Or... Okay, put the gun- So actually, the game's startup screen doesn't look that bad, but the whole glitch effect happens way too much. I came here to see some honkers, and I have a f***ing stroke. The gameplay itself is actually kind of unique, at least compared to the other games in the series. The previous two Fania games were just Finance of Freddy's 1 and 2, but with a hentai fetish. But because this game isn't just based on one singular FNAF game, it actually has to be somewhat original. Fania Ultimate Location has a combination of all the FNAF games released up to this point, except for <gasps> FNAF World, FNAF VR, Help Wanted, FNAF AR, Special Delivery, and Freddy in Space 2. The fuck is Freddy in Space 2? Basically, it was like a fundraiser for a children's hospital. Oh, that, that's that's nice, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Wait, wait, aren't you supposed to be evil? Oh, yes, you're okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, children. Urgh. Even though this game's just a demo, it does have a lot of content. In terms of succubuses this game, we got Rockstar Freddy, Funtime Chica, Ballora, Scrap Baby, Helpy, Bonnet, Lefty, Spring Bonnie, Shadow Bonnie, Glitch Trap, Phone Girl, if you want to count her, Fred Bear, L Chip, and the most important character of all, Happy Frog. Not all the sperm banks are currently in the game, seeing as how it's just a demo, but I can already tell this is way too many characters for one game. Like, okay, I get it, you know? It's your last game in the cesspool of a series, but that doesn't mean you have to add all of your god deviant art fetishes to it. Listen, seeing as how I haven't played the game yet, I might be wrong, but there's a very small Asian chode sized chance that I am. Okay, so right here, right now, I'm gonna be playing Vanilla Ultimate Location, for your guys' entertainment. But seeing as how I don't have hands... Uh, hey, whatever your name is. What now? So can you reach into my bag over there and hand me my controller, please? Uh, okay...
This is a severed head. It's not just a severed head. It's a severed telekinetic head. Okay, fine. Just take it. It's creeping me out. Well, seeing as I don't have hands right now, Uncle Uncle over here is going to be playing the game for me while I fake my reactions to the events unfolding before my eyes. Enjoy. He's gonna take you back to yesterday to play the poopy games of sick pee. He'd rather hide an Asian cho do a backflip off car 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 he'd rather e e e e e the decaying crack by 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 with any angry BTS stance 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 he's the most peeved child you've most likely heard he's the annoying funny fruit man 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 He's the peeved off Minecraft Fortnite k k k k k k k k He's the slightly irritated feet <laughs> Okay, seems pretty easy so far. Just a normally bad FNAF fan game. Oh great, friggin' BTS is gonna claim my slang now. Oh ish. How the f was I supposed to see that little sh ish while I'm doing all of this ish? You ever just consider the fact that you're just bad at the game? No comment. Okay, what's happening now? Okay, why is my power draining so fast? Okay, why is there ads now? Like, God, there's less pop up ads on a porn site. Oh great, now I'm Stevie Wonders. Aw, ish. ish. The K pop stand decided to come out of the their sewer drain smelling room to kill my side. Oh, piss off, you oh, pedo magnet. Great, now I'm dead. Great, now I'm dead. Great, now I'm dead. Great, now I'm dead. All right, that's it. Uncle, now. What? Okay, listen, I'm gonna make this very simple for you. Come any closer and I'm gonna give those little bloodshot eyes of yours a healthy dose of chemicals. Take me to a timeline with easily submissible weeds. Yeah, I forgot something in here. Uh, sorry about leaving. All right. Where are you, James? Well, Johnny, looks like you're not as stupid as I thought. Long time no see, friend. It's been a long time since we've uh, last talked, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. After you left, I actually got friends who uh, don't go crazy, uh, kill people, and also, uh, I don't know, write notes about, uh, shadow people? What? No, I'm sorry, it's just the fact that 
you say you have friends who don't kill people as like it's a bad thing. Wow, wouldn't it be? Listen, Johnny, I didn't want to bring this up, but if we're being completely fair here, you're more of a murderer than I am. You promise not to bring that up again. James? Okay, how about we make a deal? Okay, why would I make a deal with someone who just killed a, a friend of mine, huh? Explain that to me, James. Okay, hear me out. How about me and you abandon this timeline and go into a fresh new timeline, a new start, if you will. All right. I accept your offer. Good. Shake on it then. All right. <coughs> Why? <coughs> Take me time on tempo in one place. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching my top one reasons why we should execute anyone who drinks Fiji water. Uh, are you okay over there, Woke? I've never been better. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> hey, what's going on here? Today we're going to be doing a brand new episode of Tyler Talks. And this is actually a very special episode of Tyler Talks because this is actually episode 3316. Yeah! Look at him! I wonder if he got it off. You know, you know Hockey Mask Man, you know, you know what's up. I also indeed know what is up. So. Yeah, what, what, whatever you say, Ruben. What about you, Bali? Did you wake up? Well, I think you're an annoying white privileged mentally deficient child who should just start the video already. Derv. <laughs> What's up, guys? Derv is a creator that makes a variety of content. I'm sorry. Derv is a creator that made a variety of content. He's most known for his well crafted 3 a.m. videos. <laughs> <laughs> And the Oscar. Derb was one of the many kids in the line of famous YouTube kid punching bags. But his legacy goes beyond some neck beards on the internet who want to sock him in the nose. On the contrary, actually, Derb was pretty well known for his borderline illegal practices. Yeah, so if you don't know who Derb is, you may know him from the classic line, um, <clears throat> uh, book place? Uh, yeah, hold up. Uh, okay, hold up real quick. Nothing in here. It's why would you keep a book in here? It makes no sense. Hello? Um, it's 
It's just, it's just in your head. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take a while. Oh, my back. Oh, frick. Oh, God, it hurts. It hurts. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh my. It hurts. Everything hurts. Uh, here you go. <sighs> All right. Want to join my free gift, gift card giveaway? To say that one line was one of the many reasons why the commentary community didn't like Derv would be a pretty just statement. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We need to go back to the beginning. Left at me, forgetting Tim. The Derv channel was created on the fateful day of July 2nd, 2016. But unlike your average kid who was starting up his or her YouTube channel, we're not sexist here, Derv actually knew what he was doing. Not that long after his channel was made, his channel actually started to blow up because of his quality titles and eye-catching thumbnails. Not everything would be a cakewalk for Derv, however. On the contrary, because once you start getting popular on any social media site, a group of people who just don't like your existence are gonna inevitably mm, respond to your content. You guys are literally- Derv's channel was quickly discovered by the commentary community and unsurprisingly, was quickly hated by the majority of the YouTube community. He began to get called out for his beautifully bad videos. Hello. I am your school bully, and you better quit YouTube right now. Also is alleged illegal gift card giveaways, which is breaking a tiny thing. I don't know if you ever heard of it, it's pretty small. Uh, it's called the law. This small little thing would be one of the main reasons why Derv fell from grace. Your name be pirate. After all the backlash Derv received on May 31st, 2017, Derv's channel with over 100,000 subscribers was terminated. And you wanna know the reason YouTube gave for terminating his channel? It wasn't for fake giveaways. No, in fact, it was for violence. Everyone is wondering, what was the reason your channel got terminated? Well, surprisingly, none of it was actually to do with the misleading or like, it. they said nothing about it being because of misleading. And they also said nothing about it being giveaways. And honestly, the only team thought it would be something to do with giveaways, right. but surprisingly it wasn't. They came back and they said it was literally because the three strikes were all because of the violence in the videos. Listen, I don't know if me and Susan saw the same calling the boss baby at 3 a.m. video, but I don't remember that video or any of his videos, in fact, to be violent. But this tiny little road bump wouldn't actually stop Dur from trying to make videos. Oh, no, 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 no. We're just getting started. Little budget leafy. Durf came back to YouTube on July 3rd, 2017 under the name Clash Trends, which was a Clash of Clans channel. Just saying, that's a pretty big downfall from uh, my teacher had a crush on me. Well, I remember my teacher pretty much doing giveaways and yeah, I know that sounds crazy. People quickly started to realize that this channel existed because at the time, Derv tried to act like he was a completely different person. YouTube also caught wind of this new channel, and when they heard of it, I'll let you have a guess, did they A, give him a diamond play button, B, feel bad for him and reinstate his original channel, or C, terminate? Clash Trends was terminated on July 6, 2017. Then message me in the DM. For the third time, Derv decided to come back to YouTube, this time during October of 2017, under the name Finners. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you. There's not that much information on Finners, really. I really don't know what Finners was. He tried to claim that it wasn't him who owned the channel, but it was his little brother, who I'm gonna be calling Mini Derv because that's way cooler than his actual name. Surprisingly, that didn't work and his channel was once again terminated. Big shock. Bye, CPMB three times. Derb was and still is a living legend on YouTube. While most people will remember him for his 3 a.m. videos, I will personally remember him for his unhealthy addiction to Fanta. As you can see, it's just a normal Fanta. I don't know about you, but I love Fanta. All right guys, that's it. I uh, hope I just didn't enjoy it. I just didn't enjoy it. No, nothing. It's the, the camera's timer, like, froze or something. Oh, senor! Uh, Tyler? Uh, yeah, Ruben? You need to look at your channel right now. Why? Do it now! Can't 
take this anymore. Same. Why don't you just make a new channel? Wait, you don't think I tried that? Veiled. We're screwed then. Look at it, Jose Lano? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Yeah, stop being a pansy. My PP pee is inverted. Listen, I'm counting on you three, all right? Got it. Understood. Alex Jones took my children to sacrifice. Oh yeah, by the way, um, this is for you, by the way, Ruben. Thank you for that. Read up, okay? Jose, uh, una secondola? Oh. Well, hockey, you... Um, yeah, here it is. Uh, you can have, uh, this baseball bat. Uh, the... Uh, Alright, you guys got this. We won't let you down. Thanks, Ruben. I hope they got this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Apache Show! Bring out Belisify. Hey, what's up? I'm Belisify. How are you? Um. You furry? Nope. What? What do you mean, what? No, it's fine. Trust me, he was a clone. Wait, I'm sorry. How did you know he wasn't, like, a real person? No, you guys. Just start the entrance, bitch. I'm sorry. We back, baby! That's right. After a year of nothing but smoodle wolves, you're finally at episode 10 of The Patchy Show. And since it's such a special occasion, I decided, you know, why not make a video about someone who's already had two videos made on him that weren't made by me. That's right, mother We're talking about Berlissify, the Pokemon YouTuber, the ex-Minecraft YouTuber, the Animal Crossing enthusiast, the hypocritical furry... Am I forgetting something? Oh yeah. Kalispy is a gaming and news channel that primarily focuses on Pokemon content. The channel was created in 2013 and I'm like 90% sure that Verlissify has gotten into more drama than fucking Keenstar at this point. For the most part, Verlissify's videos are actually quite informative, but the issue with them is random points in his videos he'll either A, call out the whole fucking Pokemon community, or B, he'll fucking make an entire goddamn video about you for no fucking reason. But just like all great stories, we gotta start from the beginning. My is so stupid, they come for- Many people don't know this, but Verlissify's first channel wasn't actually the Verlissify channel. On the contrary, in fact, he started the Verlissify channel about a couple years into his YouTube career. His first YouTube channel was actually called Fisher4930, and- it lasted from about like 2008 to 2013. Yes, this channel actually existed. I'm not helping with you. The Fisher channel primarily focused on Pokemon Let's Plays, Yu-Gi-Oh card unboxings, videos that make me think he's a closeted furry. Fisher 4930 over there in the Lugia costume is about to show you what he made now. <laughs> Now listen, I'm not one to make fun of people's first videos because, you know, everyone was inexperienced when they made their first videos and, you know, people change, their content gets better. Now with that being said, these videos are worse than one man, one jar. Yeah, I swear to God, in all these fucking videos, he looks like he's a part of a shitty rock band from the early 2000s. I'm kidding, of course. Verlissify prefers to play songs on his ocarina. Time to play Lugia song on my new STL ocarina.
I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it really does pain me that Verlicify stopped uploading on this channel because I, I was just really looking forward to Top and Techno Songs Part 2. Anyways, after that channel, H died, Fisher moved on to the channel we all know and love today, Verlicify. Okay, listen, Verlicify didn't fuck around when you started uploading on this channel, all right? This fucking mad lad started out his brand new channel, his opus, with Amazing Sign Spinner Liberty Tax Best to waiver contest winner. I have to say his content hasn't really improved all that much, has it? At least I thought that was his first video, but uh, to no one's fucking surprise, like every god made YouTube channel, this son of a <laughs> deleted his fucking Minecraft Let's Plays, and I'm fuming. The only reason I know this is because when I went to download the videos, they just apparently don't exist anymore. Yeah, sure, Verlicify, delete the Minecraft Let's Plays, but not the borderline furry bait you Oh, well, his Minecraft videos may be gone and there's really no re-uploads of them, at least to my knowledge. There are videos that are Minecraft Let's Plays that do feature Verlicify. And, uh, yeah, they're just as bad as you think. Oh, there's a room. Okay, I thought we were outside. Yeah, exactly. Way this is a fake room. Way to go, fake room. This <laughs> anyway, the rest of his videos are just Pokemon ones. Moving on. I got your bitch on a leash. Relicify's gotten into so much drama to the point where it's kind of concerning. There's too much to go over within this one section, so I'm just gonna list off some of the more notable ones. He told a hater to drink bleach. I'm sorry based liquids. He unironically defended Nazis on Twitter. This is real. He's also made like a number of false accusations against other Pokemon YouTube channels who don't go up to his standard. Obviously there are like a lot more and probably a lot more serious things, but you know, I don't want to make an hour long commentary video like most people on the site. The fact that I can name more than 10 things that this man has done, like that have been awful off the top of my head, that's fucking scary. Honestly, I feel like if Relicify didn't try to start drama with people every day, I honestly feel like he could probably be one of the more well-respected creators in the Pokemon community. Like, his content isn't even that bad at least compared to like other channels I've talked about. It's kind of distracting when you're trying to watch a Pokemon Let's Play or a Pokemon News video and then right in the middle of it he starts going on a tirade about how he hates uh, like other people in the community. I feel like I should quickly mention I don't have an issue necessarily with YouTube drama. Personally I like YouTube drama because it can take a creator with like a colossal ego and just knock them down right? Also it gives me entertainment. But there's an issue when you start drama with someone or just a group of people every fucking day because you're a talentless fuck yeah Verlicify is just um hold up real quick um it looks like we just got an email from a guy named Tyler, and it's about something called Smogon Smogon is a competitive Pokemon thing or something. I don't know. Fuck you. All I know is that there's a list, like a rule set of Pokemon competitive rules that aren't official, but a lot of people follow because they're good rules. Because the rules aren't official, Verlicify loses his shit whenever he gets the chance to. Verlicify's main issue with the rule set is it's not official and he's like losing his shit because everyone's like, oh my god, dude, this is the rule set everyone should be following. And he doesn't fucking like that. Now, with that being said, that reasoning is fucking terrible because rule 34 drawings are unofficial and that's just my life. Now you may be saying to yourself, oh, but Patchy, that can't be the only reason he started this drama that's lasted multiple years, right? Yeah, you're right. The real reason Verlicify started all this drama was, get this, a publicity stunt. My girlfriend broke up with me this morning and it's probably because, you know, my attitude has been a lot more sour since Smogon. I never really did anything wrong. Shut the fuck up. Your opinion doesn't matter over her. This is gonna be more of a smaller section, but I really wanna discuss this because there's another Verlicify channel that he owns that I haven't really seen anyone bring up. The channel's called Verlicify's Hot Takes. Yeah, it exists. On this channel, Verlicify's talked about why he hates tipping, furry drama, and of course, Pokemon drama. To be honest, the only reason this section's in the video is because I wanted to find a way to bring up deep fake furries. You go check that one out. That's a real classic one, I'll tell you what. Let's get serious for a minute. Verlicify has done a lot of terrible things, go without saying, but the worst thing that Verlicify has ever done, and I will stand by this till I die, is uh, BLOCK THE PATCHY UNDERSCORE OFFICIAL TWITTER ACCOUNT YOU-
Conclusion, Verlicify is the worst channel I've talked about on this show so far. Don't get me wrong, right? Rebecca Zamolo was bad. Luxury Pranks was bad. But at least none of them blocked a Twitter account that had my face and name attached to it. I guess the best way to end this review and end season two of the Patchy Show is um to do a mother fucking dish track on that furry fucker. Lil Doink, hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Throughout the season, uh, I'm just I'm kind of people. Um, it's, it's the final episode. We're, we're not. Uh, guys, what's happening? What are you uh, talking? Where the hell are we? No clue. This is whiter than a fucking anime subreddit. It's, it's not the time going. It, it's just it really isn't. Hello. Hello. It's okay, you guys don't have to fake laugh. I know you're fucking with me. Oh, thanks. Uh, Mr. Shadow Man, uh, Patchy, by the way, if you don't mind me asking, who are you and, you know, uh, where, where the fuck are we? First off, my name is Tyler, and, uh, you are currently in the negative space. Okay, well, that's cool and all, but what is negative space exactly? Oh, well, you see, it's pretty much where I create everything you've ever known and everything you've ever said. I'm, I'm sorry, what do you talking about exactly oh okay. okay yeah sorry i probably should have mentioned that uh i created everything that all of you have ever done um all of your, everything you ever said all me 100 percent came from me uh you guys have no free will of your own i'm sorry the fuck did you just say to us okay so let me put this into perspective for you so you know how you guys randomly just get scripts delivered to you and how there's just randomly people trying to kill you with some clumsy, unexplained backstory. Um, yeah? All me, baby! Well, if that was true, then who were the other glitchy guys? Oh yeah, I should probably should explain those. Uh, that's the god of watch time. That's the god of monetization. And, uh, that's the god of drama. So what's 
their jobs then? Well, you see, their whole job is to make sure that you guys are doing the scripts and just to watch over you, make sure everything's going well, pretty much. Just a quick question. How long have you been watching us exactly? You guys realize you've seen these three, like, multiple times at this point? What do you, uh, mean? Okay, so let me quickly explain this to you. The clock has actually appeared in multiple episodes of the Patrick Show up to this point. The god of drama was actually the game master from the Rebecca Zamolo video, and he also played Barry Bottom. Rest in peace. That, that one, she's just kind of popped up as a shadow a couple times. Um, you may have noticed her. She's kind of just been more of a background character at this point. Um, that seems a bit much, don't you think? Yeah, but the reason I'm actually doing this is because you four f**ktards keep breaking the scripts every chance you got make it. What do you mean by breaking the scripts? We see Patchy in literally every single fucking episode up to this point, at least. And one of you f**ktards have broken the scripts. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. Like how? First off, Patchy, you've broken the script in the pilot. Episode 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, Clayton and Lil Doinky broke it both in episode 7. And don't even get me started on woe. Wait, when did I break it? It's definitely nothing to do with the uh, 75 times you brought up the higher ups or the fact that you ended uh, my early end for the show last episode. Wait, I'm sorry, what happened last episode exactly? Oh, this woke didn't tell anyone yet, did he? No, he actually didn't. Okay, so let me explain real quick. First off, that woke right there. He isn't your woke. What are you talking about? I don't know, you maybe could have uh, woke explain. I think he has a pretty good explanation for all of this. Okay, well, you see, last episode, you, um, you kind of uh, just died. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, James just uh, bashed your skull in with a baseball bat uh, when we left. Who the fuck is James? Um, the, the weeb. Nope, no clue. Okay, well, you see, I kind of left that timeline and I uh, ended up here. Wait, then what happened to our woke? Well, you see, once I got into this timeline, things got a bit complicated. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching my top one reasons why we should execute anyone who drinks Fiji water. <sighs> uh, are you okay over there, woke? Never been better. better. Got you, But so where is he now? In another timeline. Why was this all brought up again? Well, you see, I wanted to start Shay. Oh, well. You're kind of a dick then, aren't you? Wait, did I mention this, Patchy? The reason you're actually in the room right now and not in your old room is because I'm actually the one who set that whole thing up. How much have you had a hand in within my whole life exactly? Actually, I've, I've had a lot to do with your stuff. Uh, I gave you your design change, put you in the room, like I said before. I killed the game Brady 7. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I did everything except uh, until recently when you guys kept breaking my fucking scripts. Wait, hold on, let me get this straight. So the only reason you brought us all here is to tell us about your problems. Well, when you put it like that, yes, but you see the real reason I brought you all here is to kind of just tie up some loose ends for the end of the show. Is that all you needed us for? Or? Well, I do have one more thing I need to tell you guys, and trust me, this one's gonna make you flip your shit. Ugh, fine, make it quick. Okay, so hear me out, Patchy. Do you remember the origin story the Game Ready 7 gave you in episode zero? Uh, no. <sighs> Hold up. Better now? Um, yeah, go on. Uh, go on with your story, whatever. Wait, see, that origin story that the Game Boy 7 told you? It, it was all fake! It was, all, it was all big ruse, big, big game, big game, boys. Wait, what the f are you talking about? He told you that you woke up in a room and there was the Logan Paul Suicide Force video playing, correct? Uh, yeah. Well, it was actually the Prager U feminist ad video playing. Um... Uh, okay then. Oh yeah, also, you didn't make the CCV diss track, by the way, but that was actually me. That's, uh, that's kind of embarrassing, isn't it? Beats rapping about having sex with James Charles. Hey, fuck you, man. Wait, hold on a minute. Did you just redcon Patchy's life story? Mm. 
No. Well, I'm pretty sure that is literally exactly what you just did. Oh wait, what's over there, guys? It looks like it's the it's the it's the doors, the little doors that are about to take you out back to your world. Uh, yeah, just make sure you don't break the scripts again. I uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good day. I'll, I'll see you guys. Guys, guys, guys. I said I wouldn't get serious, but we're here, that is right, it's over, the show is over, the album is over, every single thing is over, everything is over, every, everything is freaking over, that is right, everything is over, it is kinda sad, it is kinda cringe, but it still doesn't matter really, cause I'm back, for the final time, except it isn't the final time, because I'll be back.